Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you part two of the understructure walkthrough. In this video I'm going to be making the uh, hoop skirt and the petticoat layers for the final build. I drew the shape I wanted and cross multiplied to get the real size measurements. Then I patterned a guide for all my hoops for shaping using the radius. I carefully and slowly shaped my steel wire to the pattern. When all my rings were made, I cut out the right length of ribbon and strap for each. Then I carefully sewed along the edges to make casings. To easily slide the casings on, I covered the end of the wire with masking tape, but you can use whatever you like. When I pulled the casings onto each hoop, I closed off the ends with more tape, but you could also solder it. To close the casings ends, I carefully, evenly sewed it shut by hand. Now for the fun part, if you find this sort of step fun. Since my mannequin is taller than me, I had to mark from the hips where my actual knees and ankles are. I also put a piece of masking tape evenly at every height I'd want a new hoop. Once I sewed all the extra ribbons to the belt, I clipped each hoop in place. I did a lot of traveling back and forth, up and down for this step to make sure it was all level. Then, again I hand sewed evenly each hoop section to the ribbon. For the ends, I used latex glue and folded each piece back up. Now I could add the eyelets for the belt. Every hoop skirt should also have petticoat layers, otherwise we will be able to see the hoops through your dress. There are many ways of making petticoats, but this is the way I decided to go. I ironed out my fabric and gathered the top. A gather is two parallel lines of stitching you sew without locking. Then you can pull the fabric around its rails. When I had both pieces gathered, I pinned them together since I wanted my skirt to have more fabric than just one width. I used an overlock machine to sew the edges. This way, they won't fray. But there are other methods you can use, like a French seam. Now I checked the skirt width to make sure it would fit me well. To cut through the gather without it exploding, I sewed it in place parallel. This is how I'll get in and out. I used the same fabric as my undergarments and made a waistband and sewed it on and cut the excess gather away. I ironed it to hide the edge, pinned it, and carefully sewed along. I used a button foot to add buttonholes. Now for the length. I put the petticoat over the hoop skirt at the right height and trimmed along the floor. Then I used my overlock machine to finish the edge. I ironed the edge evenly using a guide and sewed it into place. Then you could put it over your hoop skirt, and your cat will go live in it. This could have been made as one skirt, but I wanted to use each one individually for other projects, so I made two separate petticoats. For my second layer, I used a triangle ruler and put pins at the height I wanted to cut, since I planned on adding ruffles. Then I cut many, many strips of the same fabric and connected them. For my ruffles, I made a little guide on paper so they would all be even, then pinned forever, and I used the overlock machine to connect it all. So now the hoop skirt is concealed, and you can put a light in it for no good reason. Your cat's new home needs lighting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful in some way, or at least entertaining. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more present in my videos from now on, so you'll be seeing a lot more of what I look like instead of just me being behind the camera all the time. So feel free to take a look at my website, of course. You can find a shop there uh, where I sell patterns and prints, as well as just the past projects that I've done. Uh, links are all in the description. And of course, subscribe if you would like to see more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.